Hello, Wood, Jamal here, and welcome back to the Iron Man Let's Play of XCOM Enemy Within on Impossible Difficulty, where the first month has been going really well. I have four satellites on the way, satellite uplink being built, no one has died. As soon as I get the power generator, I can get the cybernetics lab and uh, start making my way towards my first mech. And um, in the first month, I think what is left is a second abduction. Not sure if how things have changed in Enemy Within, but uh, I'm expecting that. Or the power generator. Second abduction it is. We're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. And we have India, so that's Asia. Uh, there was no missions to Asia the first one, so there's no panic there. In Europe, in Europe we have Germany panicking already. If I don't go to the UK, that would be half of the Europe covered when I cover Germany and UK with the satellite. With the two other countries on four panic, but the sergeant assault is very, very tempting, I admit. I don't need... I don't need engineers. Um, because I got the absolutely super lucky five engineer reward for the council mission. And also South America can be covered with just two satellites and I would get the We Have Ways bonus, instant autopsies and interrogations, something I really want with the very slow research in, uh, in Enemy Within on Impossible. So uh, Argentina panicking is completely fine, so I'm not going there. Now the matter is, do I want Sergeant Assault? Because if I, if I go to India, not only I will get 200 credits, which is of course useful, but uh, that will keep Asia more or less panic free for now. And that will give me some room to maneuver in the upcoming months. Oh, I, I, wish, I wish the game would have made it easy for me and give me a unit in there. Uh, Unit from India. If I don't go to the UK, that will be... Then I will have satellites in Germany, US. Um, while I really, really, really would like to have the Sergeant Assault, I will go to Asia and... Um, I will I will put uh, to put 200 credits into good use. Mm. Yeah, that will give me two satellites in Europe. That's the that's the main reason I'm doing it. I'm more or less not looking at the rewards. I'm going going where it's best in the long term. Oh. Uh, I would so so much like to have a have that sergeant. All right, Harry Hill, our support, just got uh, just got out of his sick leave. And now that I think of it, do I really want to take a medic it now for this mission? Because he's not yet a medic with free uses out of the medic it. And our sniper, who I guess I should pronounce Zeno instead of Xeno, with KS, like uh, I would say it as a Finn. Um, the thing is, if I if I don't take a medikit, I'm absolutely certain someone will go down and I could save whoever it is by stabilizing. If I take the medikit, there will be a situation where I would love to have a grenade and uh, no one goes down. <laughs> uh, no medikit. <laughs> oh, I will so regret that decision, I'm sure. 
I will take it when uh, when Harry can use uh, can use a medikit. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Can use it three times. That is. Local government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack in a densely populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. All right, Operation Blind Serpent. It's a remotely familiar looking map. I like this, uh, like this entering this sequence there. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. No, this is definitely a new map for me. Definitely a new map for me. Hmm. Let's take a look. Actually, why don't you sprint there? On the move. See something? Ah, there's a melt container there. But no one here in the alley, so that's good. It looked like a gas station. Looked like a gas station in the image. So I guess that's some sort of a some sort of garage. Oh wow, we could get a sniper all the way up there. With the squared sides and in So let's get her up, or up there right away. If I see aliens, then uh, I will take her down. I really like the cover. Please don't blink like that. I really like the cover there as well. Yes, really easy to point with my uh, <laughs> mouse there. Well, anyway, you know what I mean. Let's get the heavy there as well. And... Um, The thing is, if I go there, that will cover such a big area that she might, she might see, see more aliens than uh, than she would really like to. Not going too long, too long, too far to that direction, just in case. You will wait there. Yeah, I know it's there. While I haven't played this much myself yet, um, the new enemies that will hit in April, the Seekers, who are invisible and they will uh, they will grab the throat of uh, whoever they attack. Uh, I will need to use the squad sighting sniper in a slightly different way. Moving out. Bien. I'm not. Go I'm, I'm going to run to that cover, but not now because that might. Uh, or actually, will I? I still can. I still can move her, so it's fine. Yeah, let's go here. Not. Not to the side. I want to go there, expose any aliens here. This turn. She'll be in full cover if I do so. Yeah, let's go there. Good, 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 good. Of course, the, the bad part is that uh, now if she goes forward there. And there are more aliens here. They will, uh, they'll be spotted. So it's maybe it's better to take her here. 
and uh, just shoot whatever we spot with the others. And they all retreated somewhere in there behind the car. Would have been a perfect place to throw a grenade. Uh, Roger, let's take Harry forward and see what the aliens do. She's exposed now, but uh, she'll be able to rocket this turn if the aliens cooperate with their positioning. Yeah, there's, there's a group of aliens there. What? <laughs> and they were exposed because the wall is now broken. Fantastic. Oh, what are you doing? What? The aliens got to turn after their activation. Uh, okay. Well, luckily that still counted as a full cover shot, but uh, I didn't expect them to see Harry at all because he was behind a cover, but... Alright. Well, I think I can get three of them with one rocket here. At least pretty darn close because it's car with the car will explode as well. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Just making sure that they are all in it. There we go. <laughs> Little extra damage from the explosions as well. Uh, unfortunately, Sniper is... Uh, Sniper is exposed here. She's in full cover, but not taking advantage of the... Okay, this is, uh, this is what I will do. I will shoot this one because I have elevation bonus on it. Well, I have damn good ground. So, yeah, 83%. And then uh, running and gunning for this guy. There is, of course, the chance. Wait, will I change my plans if I see some aliens? Let's go down first. Run and gun. I'm all over it. Well, this actually went pretty well. <laughs> pretty darn well. I'm about to start keeping score. And now... I will dare to move... Here. Without triggering any aliens. Okay, so the other one is that way. Mm, if she stays up here, <laughs> look at that! Look at that alien hanging there, <laughs> hanging there in that after the shotgun shot. If if she stays here. This will block her view to any aliens down there, so it might be better to take her down. Boy. But let's make it one turn at a time. Mm. I guess I would see if there would be any aliens in that garage. Let's go get the meld. Got it covered. No aliens. Got the goods. 
One thing pointed out in the comments, which was actually pretty good, was that uh, while the melt container explodes if the timer runs out, as a cover, it doesn't explode. It will disappear. It's a destructible cover, but the melt melt stays collected, and uh, it won't explode if someone shoots it. I was, I thought that it would explode. Well, actually, I saw that in that one mission, but anyway, it was pointed out in the comments even earlier than that, so... Uh, that's something to remember. Let's reload this turn. Let's reload the sniper rifle as well. Mm, I guess you can go forward, because we didn't see anyone. Famous last words usually spawns free alien groups right away. That area area ahead is pretty pretty nasty. She might actually go up here. That is blocking the view a bit. There's truck there. It's a bit hard to say. Bit hard to say how well I can see uh, between these trucks and uh, have no idea where the other mill is. I saw the yellow line going this way, so it's maybe. Oh, there it is. It's in this uh, in this truck here. There, now we see it. Probably not that visible in the video, but there it is. So that means I can come from this side. This side and um, On my way. stick you down there. I guess I can't go on that platform unless I'd have some jumping shoes or something. Oh, hello, wandering aliens. Or not. <laughs> that was interesting. That's quite rare. Not triggering the aliens when you see them. So that is there. Some aliens wandered to that corner. So, what if I... I could rush for the meld now. Possibly triggering all the alien troops in the neighborhood. But the aliens are not active. So if I stay behind this truck, they shouldn't see me, unless there are more here. So let's keep on going with the blue moves. Although... They might trigger when uh, Harry goes forward. So what I will do is... Uh, is this. To avoid triggering the aliens there. And uh, it might actually be better if... She comes here, ready to shoot those aliens when we activate them on this line here. I've been taking my time with this, so, uh, okay, there they come. People are, we were actually shooting different aliens with those reaction shots because they came. I was positioned in such angle. Oh, aliens, you are in such a trouble now. Oh, but I don't have a... <laughs> I don't have the grenade. And uh, I don't even need this. I, I mean rocket. And I don't even have a squared sight there. Um, Alright, so what will I do? And uh, who will... who will do it? I guess I will throw a grenade. I'm a bit, bit worried to move here, 
while these aliens are active because there might be someone there. But um, yeah, I thought so that I might not move far enough, but I think this is okay. It will damage two aliens. It will uh, remove the table, remove the table from the third and uh, exposing that one to the sniper who should have a clear angle now. But for some reason she doesn't even see the one. Can you please explain me how that works? Uh, in case of some unfortunate misses. Well, you know what? That is actually a pretty darn good spot. And I have four turns for the meld. Good. Ah. Uh, Okay, how, how did that one alien just turn invisible? <laughs> I hate when that happens. How do you not see it? How do you not see it? Well, you see it, so you will actually take a shot at... Uh, You will take a shot at this guy then. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. Him. There's of course chance that I will hit, but these uh, miss, but these are pretty good odds I'm having here. 93% pistol. And. Um, Into that, that will probably still count as cover if this happens to miss, because he is not the best aim. And uh, that was the last alien. Hello. Nice. nice for you to join this party. <laughs> I was about to say that that one is the last alien, so uh, that alien might have escaped. But that was actually quite fortunate. Quite fortunate because I can uh, I can now run and gun there, and uh, since the one alien oh there's a cover there, so uh, I will go with her, exposing this one. Wow! Expect that one to hit. Um, she can still throw a grenade, which means you can... Uh, I'm thinking this spot right here, but are there more aliens there? Better to just run here. Shoot that one. Um, Dead and, gone. and we will have a medic after this mission. some aliens there. I'm thinking is it safer to be here or here hidden? But this will be more certain a shot with the shotgun, so let's take the chance. Good. That's th th that was quite many alien packs already, so I wasn't too worried. Yeah. I wasn't too worried about that because that was so many alien packs. I gotta say that in that one I got 
quite fortunate with alien aliens wandering uh, wandering near me in just the right moment plus I had the plus I had the right moves the light, right guys that uh, rocket rocket killing free sect sectors at the beginning was a key because there was five of them active that was uh, a performance let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did <laughs> i like our nicknames we have our heavy leticia casino delgado and uh, her aim is uh, slowly improving i will definitely get the shredder rocket over uh, suppression while suppression is really really good the additional rocket is uh, just too good to pass, especially with the first heavy. So uh, we have Casino, and we have Masahiro Pitbull Suzuki, who will now have Lightning Reflexes or the new and improved Close and Personal. Uh, it now works in a way that the first shot he takes won't cost an action, which means he can shoot and run run back really far, or he can move, take a shot, come back. But I think uh, every team needs an assault with the lightning reflexes, so uh, I will take that. And Harry Bishop Hill. Wait a minute, Bishop. We had Bi we had Bishop in the series two as well, didn't we? I don't even remember anymore. Did we? We did. Right? Yes, we did. I'm. This is this is how much I remember from my old old LP. Well, it was quite a long time ago already many many months um i think this uh, well someone might be able to make it work with the smoke and mirrors but I, I think this this option here is probably one of the easiest ones when leveling up getting getting free medikits over the questionably useful smoke because let's be uh, let's be honest the uh, smoke isn't very good it's uh, it rarely it really saves lives. I would, I would really like to see the smoke being slightly more useful because it's so so limited anyway, even with the additional uses. So we have everyone, everyone through all the five missions, quite even number of kills actually in the end. Everyone is a sergeant now with their own nicknames. International Service Cross. Metal. Interesting. Let's go take a look. Touch, Power generator comes up online in just a moment. So International Service Cross is... Plus two will per different nationality in the squad. Or plus two aim per continent bonus XCOM has earned. Interesting. So even if I don't cover any continents, this will immediately give me plus two will. So I can easily make it eight, because everyone is of different nationality. But in the long run, the plus two aim per continent bonus, I think, will be better. Especially because there is that new ability. Is it from the officer training school? when you bite the will of the leader of the squad affects those near him or her or is it even all whole squad so will isn't such an issue and uh, you can always use more aim and that will give me plus two right away because i have the continent bonus of africa so this will go to zeno International, International Service Cross. It's pretty pretty interesting that you can uh, rename the medals. 
if you want to see some uh, creative metal names, do check out uh, Revokane's uh, live stream or uh, his uh, his uh, let's play on his channel from the live stream. That's uh, I, I'm not that creative with those. I will uh, I will keep them as they are. Uh, before I end this video, I will wait. I will wait for the power generator, which is there right away. Power generator complete. And with that built, we have additional power, but not that much of it. Um, some of that power I want to use for access lift for the next month. If I would build this after, on the first day, and not now, I, I would save 10 credits. But 10 credits is nothing, because I can start excavating sooner. So I will do that now. And uh, cybernetics lab. I could also build an officer training school. But... Um, I will get the cybernetics now. It takes a little bit time of the build and um, I don't need to use any extra credits from it apart from building the building the first mech. With officer training school I would need a whole lot more credits to use for the abilities. And uh, with this uh, I can uh, I can get the mech unit right away. But now that I think of it, which which one of my soldiers would I make a mech? I kind of like them all. I think I should train one of the rookies up and... Uh, hmm. Well, I will build that anyway. It's the... It's the new thing in the... New thing in the enemy within anyway, so I really look forward in seeing, uh, seeing how that goes. Um, in the next video we will have the end of month. End of month we will have the council report, we will have launching of the satellites when the satellite's uplink is ready. And um, there might be some mission before that, the end of month, but uh, if this goes the same way as Enemy Unknown, there won't be. But uh, we'll see. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part for the end of month. <laughs>